welcome back to the channel and in today's video is the game between Adolf Hitler and Vladimir of Lenin and as you guys know Adolf Hitler has done so many bad things like he has really done so many bad things oh, who kills 6 million Jews just for nothing like oh, oh, what was he thinking like and I've got to say in all honesty um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit what who put the thought into his head well Let's forget about that and let's head into the game. Now guys, the game starts with an E4. Adolf Hitler plays black while Vladimir Lenin plays white. You know Vladimir Lenin, the famous Russian, um, the creator of the Soviet Union, you understand? Vladimir Lenin was the creator of the Soviet Union and he played against the famous Russian and um, German dictator, which was Adolf Hitler. So now, Adolf Hitler replies with a shocking move which is a6 who plays this this is the called the saint george defense is also a variation in the king's pawn opening and it's called the saint george defense well van meos lenin continued the game with d4 adolf hitler continued to you know improve the variation continue to play the saint george defense also trying to attack the center using his bishop like is you if you are to his bishop and you know try to attack from that diagonal instead of attacking from the center as we all do in this modern age well the game continues and you know let's just get to, into the part where the game becomes very interesting now at this moment adolf hitler decided to you know attack the center with a pawn well normally lenin could have either pushed forward or but let me just capture this pawn and made Adolf Hitler bishop active. He made Adolf Hitler bishop active. Why? That man is just so wicked. I don't know why. I don't, I don't like him. I don't just like him. Why would you kill 6 million Jews just for nothing? Just because... I don't know. I don't know. So guys, if you guys know the reason why Adolf Hitler actually killed the oh, 6 million Jews, maybe if you guys, you know, let's have some debate in the comment section because... I don't know. I don't. I can't still get it. Why would you just kill six million Jews just like that? Just because? Why? Just because? I don't know. I don't know the reason. I just see he kills six million Jews. I'm still going to go back to Google to you know ask for the reason why he killed the six million Jews. As for this time, Adolf Hitler played. I mean, Lenin played Castle. Adolf Hitler continued, and the game continued. You know, now Adolf Hitler moves his queen here. Moving your queen here doesn't literally guarantee anything because you can't attack the pawn. The queen is guarding it, the rook is guarding it, the king, king is guarding it. So why would you play that move? Why would you waste such a good move? And I don't really think Adolf Hitler was really that good in chess because if he was a, if he was good in chess, he won't literally play that. Now Lenin literally continues and plays this move. Like just watch this move. This move was <laughs> I don't know. He plays this. Adolf Hitler could have pushed his pawn forward, but no, he was so greedy that he had to capture the pawn. Now, capturing this pawn leaves that A5 isolated. The B5, there's no other pawn there to guard the A5, the pawn on A. Like that pawn, that file is just so isolated. They said that Adolf Hitler can literally start attacking from that place at any time. Like Lenin, sorry. Lenin can literally start attacking from that place at any time. But instead, Lenin <laughs> plays this, you know, trying to attack both the pawn, the bishop, you know, putting more pressure on Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler seeing this. Pushes his pawn. Now he pushes his pawn. Lenin could literally have moved his knight here. Let's just say if Lenin moves his knight here, he will give put more pressure on the queen and the bishop and also wins the pawn for free. But no, Adolf Lenin did not does not play that and instead and instead Lenin plays b3. Like instead, sorry, Lenin captures the pawn on a3. Lenny captures this pawn on a3. Like why? He could literally have put more pressure on you know the queen and try to force the queen back and also maybe maybe capture the bishop for free, something like that. But instead he captures the pawn, you know, pressure, time, everything which affects a trust player whenever he's playing a game. So the game continues. Out of slap puts pressure on the knight, but Lenny plays this guarding both the knight and the pawn. So uh Hitler saying this. 
just continue playing, learning, having the whole center of the board captures, captures back. Now, Adolf Hitler bishops are actually active. But no, just watch what this Russian chess player did. This Russian player, I don't know, I love playing Russians because they have this principle of playing chess. Whenever they play chess, they are playing in a well principled and well. I don't know, not all Russian players, but I don't know. Any Russian player I play, they have this. I have this chill whenever I play them, but never mind. I've beaten a lot of Russian players. It's not that they are actually that good, but I give them this thumbs up. Like, I love their respect. I love their chess. I don't know why. I love Russian chess. So now, this Russian player plays this. Now, looking at this, the queen, the bishop, everything is at the queen's side, leaving the king's side very isolated. And in a chess game, if you can't guard your queen, you will lose. Not, not you will lose, you must lose. Because if you can't guard your queen, your king, why are you playing chess? The reason you're playing chess is because of your king. Not because of your queen, not because of your bishop, not because she just want to attack. You are, you are protecting your king and also attacking your opponent. Like, chess is war. You don't just... You don't just leave your home and carry your armies to the front, leaving like ambush can come from anywhere. You don't know. Ambush comes from anywhere. So at this moment, as of last seeing this, <laughs> brings his queen like, um, retreat, retreat. There's fire on the mountain at home. But instead, Lenny wasn't shaked. He literally pushes, puts more pressure on <laughs> like the king's side. Now, Adolf Hitler seeing this, like, tries to pursue the queen. The queen was like, what the fuck? I, I get off and he moves, he moves again, he moves back. Now, this is where Adolf Hitler fucked up. Adolf Hitler plays this and Lenin saw this and gave him this stunning move by capturing this pawn. Like, he captures this pawn. Adolf Hitler, you know, stupidly thought it was a free knight, captured the knight and boom. Adolf Hitler problem started from here. His problem started here. The bishop gave the king a check. The king moved. Another check. The king had to move. Another check. The king had to move. And at this point, Adolf Hitler resigned because after this, <laughs> Adolf Hitler has no other square than to move here. And this is a checkmate. Adolf Hitler saw that for the way. I was like, oh my god, I've lost this game. And he literally resigned. He resigned so guys this is the end of the video that's the video showing you the game between the famous adolf hitler and vanimir stalin the famous russian soviet master so guys let's head into the comment section and let's see what people are saying why adolf hitler killed six million jews for nothing i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye